Hello, Christ is Risen. My name is Father Dimitri, and I'm here in Lakeland, Florida. So today I'm going to be talking about the next verse in the Sermon on the Mount. Blessed are they, they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, and they should be filled. I know that when I was growing up, at one time I had, I had really long hair. I had earrings. I had lo really long hair. I was a headbanger. I liked listening to metal music. I like uh, listening to that headbanging stuff. And uh, one of the sayings that we had is that all men play on 10, that the louder the better, we had to have it turned all the way up. And I got to thinking about that statement, all men play on 10. And of course, it's anybody. But uh, for me, all men play on 10 means that I want to seek after God, you know, and the, the, the beatitude itself, what Jesus tells us is that we're supposed to hunger and thirst after righteousness. And if we do so, we're going to be filled. And what does that word filled mean to me? Well, being filled means I'm going to be satisfied of the desire that I have. I know a lot of times, often all of us know and we understand what hunger and thirst is. I think we've all felt hungry. I think we've all been parched. We've all been thirsty. I think we've all felt that way. But what God is asking us, what Jesus is asking us for, is to hunger and thirst after righteousness. And not just any plain righteousness, but a righteousness that only He can fulfill. Only that He only He can satisfy and give desire to. So as I get closer and closer to God, I realize that the righteousness that I'm looking for and the approval that I'm looking for is not from people. It's not from... You know, my friends, my parishioners, my family, it, it, it really, their approval shouldn't really matter. Of course, that's something that I'm working on because I it hurts me when somebody doesn't like me to be truthful. But the thing is, is that I really need to be hungry and I need to crave with eager desire that righteousness that only God can give me. And if I am seeking that, that righteousness and I'm hungry for it, I'm going to continue looking for it. And really when I find it and I get filled, the filling should never be enough. I should be continually being hungry. And the thirst of it too, the thirst, I, 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 I want it. I eagerly long for those things. I, I want to be supported. I want to be refreshed. I want to be strengthened. I want to seek the approval of God. I want to be, I want to have integrity and virtue and purity of life and rightness and, you know, a correct thinking, the way I think, the way I feel, the way I act, but not as a man does, not as a human being, because my human side really just doesn't cut it. My human side isn't enough. When I deal with the people that I love, and even when I deal with the people out on the street or the people I encounter maybe once in my life, I want to have that person that is the best Jesus that I can be. I want to let that light of mine shine so brightly that they don't see me, that they see Jesus in me, that they see the Lord my God who saved me and has that full amount of grace and understanding for. I want to be able to share that. I want to be able to be righteous but not self-righteous. Everything that we can, there's so much balancing that has to be done. And it's so easy for Satan to push us to the other side. Instead of being righteous and living in God's righteousness, that we end up becoming vain and we end up being self-righteous. And I don't want that. I, 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 I hunger and thirst for that righteousness. And not only do I hunger and thirst for that righteousness, not only do I desire and want to be fulfilled, I want to be fully satisfied. I desire that so much that I just want to keep searching for it. It's never going to be enough for me. It's never going to be enough as long as I am drawing breath to go to the next place in my life where I can get closer and closer to the Lord. I don't want to be lukewarm in my dealings with anything of this world. I want to be 100% on the Lord's side. I want to be 100% on the Lord's side. That doesn't mean judging people, criticizing people, telling people they're going to go to hell. That's not my place. My place is not to do those things. My place is not to criticize. My place is not to tell people what they're doing is sinful or destructive. My place is to show them how to get past that place and to become the men and women that they truly need to be. As I've said so many times to my people in my church, as a priest, I am not a bridge. 
I'm just a sign. I'm just a one-way sign, a yield sign. I am the mile marker. I am the stop sign. Whatever sign that you need to be, I'm the person that hopefully is going to be there and I'm going to guide you to the right way. And that's truly what I'm trying to do is be the man that God wants him to be and be completely filled with his righteousness. So may the Lord bless you, protect you, and keep you safe always. And Christ is risen.